Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about doing some batch and bulk correction on your portrait photos before you show them to your client. Think of this as your pre-editing for proofing. Now I've already gone through and I've thrown away the photos I don't like and I've picked some of my favorites. The next thing I want to do is make sure that every photo that I show looks great. In today's age, people don't understand that photos look uh, a little bit different out of the camera than they do when you actually buy them. Think of it as the old days when you used to show film versus the finished print. Of course you're going to make the finished print look great. It's very hard to explain that that's the same way it works with digital. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you how to quickly make some changes that will make all your photos look a lot better. So I'm going to start with one photo from a series. So I've got what five or six photos here that are all shot in studio, same lighting conditions. I'm going to take that photo and I'll go into develop. Now here in develop, I can use the tone and color pane to do my basic brightness, contrast, color adjustments that I would need to do on my photo. Now there's not a whole lot I need to do on this series. They're actually pretty good out of the camera. We'll make some minor adjustments. I'm going to take my highlights and bring it down just a little bit to make sure I've got all the highlight detail in there. And then I think I might warm the photos up just a little bit. So I might add just a little bit of yellow to that. Then I'm going to add a skin retouching paint to it. So I click on skin retouching. I'm going to grab my dropper tool, click on a mid tone of her skin, not something in the highlights, not in the shadows. Usually like the forehead is a great spot to get that. Use the range slider to adjust how much skin retouching I'm going to add. Keep it pretty conservative for this. We want to make sure that we're smoothing out the skin but not losing a lot of other details in the photo. There we go. And then I'm going to use a modest amount of blemish and smoothing and shine reduction. A good way to do that is turn those all down to zero to start and then bring them up each individually. So the blemish slider is going to help me knock out the medium sized things. Probably 30 or 40 for proofing is good. Smoothing is going to smooth out the skin. Again, use the smallest amount you can get away with. Shine will do shine on the skin. She only has a little bit on the end of her nose there. And then evenness will even out the hue across the skin. There we go. Now, one thing I notice when I do that is I lose a little bit of detail. So I'll come back and we'll turn up the structure slider just a little bit to pump in a little bit more structure back into it. There we go. Now I'll bring up the film strip. And rather than having to do that work on all these other photos that are similar, I'll just select all of those photos and I'll hit the sync button. Now it'll take all those same tone and color adjustments and that same skin retouching that I added to the first photo and adds it to all of the others. It's a great way to save you time. It'll make your photos look a little bit more finished before you actually show them to the customer without having to go through and do them one at a time. And all you do is you repeat that process for other photo shot in a similar setting. So for example, I'll go to this next one over here and we'll do the same kind of work on this photo. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, these photos are a little on the cool side. So I'm just going to add again a little bit of warmth to it. Warm that up a little bit. Bring my highlights down just a little bit to make sure I'm not blowing any detail out of the shirt. Add my skin retouching pane. Similar process. Pick the color in the skin tune the range that I want to affect, and then use a low amount of each of those options, just like that. There we go. Click all the photos that are exactly the same shooting conditions and sync them, just like that. Now, once you've gone through and you've done those little fine tweaks to those photos, you're ready to create versions that you can show. Now, if you're going to present to your client right here inside of Browse, that's easy to do, and you can actually do that pretty well. Just go back to Browse. And if you want to show those photos to your customer, just hit the tab key on your keyboard. That'll hide the left and the right hand pane. So you get down to just the large photos that look good. And then you can use something like detail view and you can get a nice full screen view and you can just arrow through those photos and use your metadata keys to help your customer pick out which ones they like. Filmstrip view works great for that as well. But a lot of us also use dedicated sales software that we need to put our photos into. So you might need to export out JPEGs for that. So you can select all of your photos, click on the export button. Then under export, you can pick the file size and the type and the location that you want. To change the size, click on the plus button and select photo size. Then pick the size that you need for your sales software. Something like 2000 pixels will probably work just fine. Then pick the type. It's probably going to be a JPEG, about 80% quality. sRGB works great for sales software. Pick where you want those to go and if you want to name them differently. Then you hit export and it'll go through and it'll chew through all those files and it will generate JPEGs at the right size and the right color space for your sales software. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching.